Thanks for being here, everyone. <laughs> I'm Minnie Van Lee. I live in my minivan and I have for six years now. So welcome. I want to talk today about turning your life around, turning my life around. Everybody turn their lives around. First, let me give you a little bit of an update. Mm. Last night I didn't sleep good. I tossed and turned, yeah. Um, I've met some wonderful people the past week or so and thank you to all. You know who you are. Oh yeah. I had a good time by the campfire last night. We danced. <laughs> we did a lot of dancing and we played good music and we had really good discussions. So thank you all for that. Just particularly last night, it was a lot of fun. Now, you know, basically not everyone wants to be filmed and I'm respecting that. So yeah, you got to do that out here as nomads, right? I'm still in my pajamas and I'm going to take a very long nap today, probably right around the corner after this. So, but I've got a lot of letters and comments recently, daily, actually. Some of you are really hurting your circumstances. So I want to offer advice about turning your life around. It's a good subject. Most of us are going through things in life, you know, high emotional circumstances, you know, events going on all around us. Um, you know, I don't know, personally, I've been through a lot in my life too. Um, I had a stable childhood, not perfect, but it was stable and I knew I was loved and I knew I was cared for. They met all the basic needs and they loved me. It was my adult life when most challenges really took place. As a mother, I had events that rocked my world to the core and presented many difficulties for myself. Now, I know you all have problems, some more severe than others. I suspect a few of you don't have one single hassle in your life, and I, I can sense it in your comments too. Everything is humming along beautifully for you. But you might even also doubt yourself at times. You know, am I good enough? Am I healthy enough? You know, is there any sickness going on? Am I doing enough in this world with what life that I have left? Am I doing enough? Well, one aspect of life that brings people to their knees is what others think about them. Oh, yeah. That's a big problem. That will put you in a prison. Who wants to go to prison? No, it will put you in a prison. When we don't maneuver through this world with freedom of thought and behavior, we're limited. We're limiting ourselves. We're not being who we really should be when we start caring what everybody else is um, putting into our lives. I have reconciled with this issue. I really have, and I'm really grateful for it. I get comments from others that encourage me more than I could ever thank you enough for. Thank you. Um, do I feel deserving? Not always. You know, not always. I'm just a normal person like you. Um, I'm just me, and I say and do what I want. At times, I get critiqued undeservedly. After three years, I've learned to brush it off. And toss those into the wind. Yeah, I mean, I've learned how to do that. So um, experience will teach you good lessons. I don't care what others think. And you shouldn't either. This one small step will change your life. It's an enormous move in the right direction. But you have to have a compass inside of you. And you need to use that compass, that little voice in there. You need to use it. So if you're beating yourself up over your childhood, stop it. The childhood is where a lot of this comes from. No one has had a perfect time with our parents or caregivers. If you were abused, I'm serious, you're just going to have to get over it. Pray about it and take it where it belongs and pray about it, think about it and let it go. You're going to have to do that. If you lived in a home where parents never applauded you much for anything, you can still change your life. 
uh, it's not really abusive, but they just kind of ignored your, your um, possibilities. And I've met people who went through this and it made them stronger. Moi, I was loved, but I was not applauded that much. I was the youngest in a family. But in my adult life, I made it my challenge to be the best that I can be. I went on to be a really good artist. I was curious early about uh, the technical world and computers, and I taught myself how to use it to my advantage. I loved it. I was just a very curious person. I learned to be a good writer. Yeah. And I went on to earn two degrees in college. I was a good parent. Looking back, I didn't live near my parents as an adult. I was 2,000 miles away from them. They visited. But in all honesty, looking back, they really never knew what my accomplishments were. And I never really bragged about it to them. They were my accomplishments. I knew what my accomplishments were. I didn't let them gauge and think and tell me who I was or what I was to do. And that's what mattered. We only have ourselves to challenge us. We should race only against ourselves, just ourselves. I could have just plopped myself down and not gone for any brass rings in life. And you can do this too. You can change your life. I went for some brass rings. Now, I've met people who were pampered as children. I mean, seriously, they were told they were the best at everything. They could do no wrong. We've met people like that. And actually, it's kind of cool for them in a way. But this scenario can go either way. What I've found in life, and possibly you too, is some will become very easy. They'll become egotistical and they'll look down on people in their lives. But some go on to do really great things. So I applaud that. And really, it's the same for those who weren't fed a daily diet of encouragement and total acceptance as children. It can go both ways for them too. Some can become bitter and become real lazy and um, blame other people. And then others go on to greatness. So either way, it's, it's all within ourselves to accept ourselves. Don't you think? I mean, it's really an individual thing. We need to forgive and challenge ourselves even in the face of criticism all around us. You know, people wanting to critique us or tell us you can do that or you can't do that. Forget what others say. Get up and make some plans you can change your life. You can turn it around to your advantage. Once we all stop playing the victim, oh boo-hoo, and take responsibility for our circumstances, I guarantee you, you will begin to thrive. We all will. And that's how I did it too. I've done my share of blaming others. Oh, oy vey shmir. Parents, past relationships with friends, government, rules, teachers, culture, and particularly blaming myself all the time. Yeah, blaming never moved anyone forward to a new life. It just didn't. You all, I think these things you all know. Maybe this is a reminder for you. Acceptance, responsibility, living and caring for oneself, looking up at our creator and being thankful. There you go. Let's be grateful for where we are at any given moment. And this is where change begins to stir and it gains the energy. We are made of energy. We can make this energy happen. We can turn this around. Some people have horrific circumstances to overcome. You tell me about them. I know. <laughs> Your spouse is abusing you. Your grown children are still at home and they never leave their rooms. They refuse. Depression has overtaken your mind. You're being evicted from your home. Oh my gosh, that is huge. And you feel unloved or you've lost your partner through death or just a breakup. Yeah, all sorts of events can happen that are going to end up leaving us lifeless if we don't get on the case and challenge ourselves. We got to do that. So I'm going to assume 
that everyone has something happening right at this moment. Even when everything seems to be bliss, there's things going on. Let's finally, once and for all, get back up. Let's see the positive. Think positive things. Go for that brass ring. Challenge yourself. Don't do anybody else's race. Only do your own race. You can turn this around, I promise. You can turn your life around. Thousands are doing it this very minute. They're getting up and saying, enough is enough. I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to stop feeling sorry for myself. And I'm not going to listen to what other people say. So let's use our energy for good. When we are the best we can be, we can go on and help other people. No matter what's in the news, no matter what others say about you, no matter what you feel guilty about, yeah, that's a big one, feeling guilty, and that's only in your own mind, no matter how slighted you feel, you can turn your life around, I promise. And I'll be talking about this coming up. Um, we need some encouragement, all of us. We need to be encouraging each other and doing what we can do for each other. And I'm here to do that. I want to help move everybody into a new a, a new environment, a new um, paradigm shift in your mind. Yeah. So let's, um, let's turn our lives around, everybody, okay? So what have I been doing lately? Well, I've, I've met a lot of new people and been hanging out with them, but I'm still doing my normal routine. I'm going to the gym and um, just trying to get as much exercise as I can. I've been watching some movies I'm kind of movied out, though. I haven't really found anything that kind of interests me. There's a lot of new movies. Here's where I'm at. There's a lot of new movies out. But, and I, I do, I love new things. I love to be a contemporary. I like to know what, what young people are doing. What music are they listening to? Um, what are the new movies out there? But I'm noticing that on, on maybe I need to get find another channel like Hulu or something like that. But I've noticed on Prime... Um, a lot of the movies are contemporary, and I'm not liking them. They almost seem to have kind of a, kind of a. It's more, more like an evil um, tone to it. I don't really want that in my life. I've never been one for watching um, horror movies. No, to me, no. There's once something gets in my head, it's hard. You watch a movie like that, it's hard to take it back out. I've got a few in there. What are some that I've seen that have scared the crap out of me? Um, one was Night of the Living Dead. Um, what about Psycho? Oh my gosh, no. And it's there. <laughs> it's there. I can't get it out of my head, you know. Um, once it gets in, it's hard to get back out. So, um, but I've known it. And I don't even want to like, I'll maybe look at the description of the movie. And I think, oh, that doesn't, no, that's, that's not up my alley. So right now I am having a little bit difficult time finding some good movies. I've been watching documentaries. You know, one documentary that I have been watching not every single one of them but um remember life after people that was that was a pretty good series now a lot of you say well yeah but what will happen to the people that's not a show about that and i will i guarantee that you'll learn a lot from this because what they do is they go like the first year let's just say everybody disappeared there's no more people on the planet and it goes through they'll hit certain subjects like architecture um, water, animals, um, invaders, uh, things like that, you know, and, um, they, uh, they say like what they predict, like one year after people are gone, what has happened to like some, whatever the subject is. Um, then they'll go five years then they'll go 10 years then they'll go 50 years then they'll go 100 years go a thousand years it's really interesting because it, you learn about like the characteristics of animals like how would they how would who would they join forces with and how would they uh, would they survive would they survive like some some of the dogs um a lot of the um uh, engineered um Types of dogs, a lot of them won't survive. They, they were engineered in a way that they, they wouldn't be able to, they're not tall enough, they can't swim, you know, like a bulldog, things like that. They can't swim. Um, 
but and then a lot of the dogs will um be um pulled into like the more wild dogs like the coyotes and the wolves and things like that so really regular dogs would sort of um, not be the same anymore right after so many years and then architecture so you got you learn about how architecture is built like the empire state building how long the chrysler building bridges how long will they last and what will take them down um i just finished one episode about i know that this is an older series so i know a lot of you have seen this but um they talk about um, the waterways and how we have manipulated almost all of the waterways, like um, the Great Lakes and the rivers, and, and we have levees and we have dams and things. Well, with people gone, um, what would happen if there's nobody's there to open the valves and close them? And yeah, yeah. So it's really, really interesting. I've been kind of looking at that on my spare time. And I also, I want to mention I have a new uh, YouTube channel, and I will leave the link down below. I'll let you look at it, and I'll see if it's anything that you are interested in. If you are, please join us, the channel, subscribe, and then the Facebook group that goes along with it. So, yeah. Um, let's see, what other uh, updates do I have? Well, I'm kind of chilly. You know, when you do get tired, I'm just, I'm really tired. I think I only got like four hours of sleep. That's not, that's not enough for me. Um, <laughs> not enough at all. And so I get a little loop-de-loop, -loop, but, um, I still wanted to do this video and get it out. And I think that, um, I think it'll be helpful. Let me know in comments if it was helpful for you or not. And, um, if you have anything to offer. Yeah. So many, if we go through life guilt, ridden and or we feel unloved or we we we're still even as older people and there's a lot of younger people so listen up um as you you gotta let it go as it and you'll save yourself a lot of time if you let it go early in your child in your adulthood early adulthood if you can let it go because then you're going to have a more fun life yeah so there but there's a lot of um older people that still um I think once there goes a train by, once people reach a certain age, yeah, it kind of goes, but it's still kind of there. You just, it is what it is. You almost have to say that. It is what it is. And start turning your life around, turning your life around to the way you want it. I mean, if you look, look at what has happened in your life so far take stock of it i mean even for me i mean i think wow even in the face of adversity or what i went through i've come a long way <laughs> i've i've uh I, i'm very um i challenged myself and i still do and i think that um that i can pat myself on the back a little bit and say that was a good job or you're doing pretty good with that yeah so i really encourage you to take stock and maybe start journaling there's a there, start journaling what you want um yeah you got to start taking stock of where your life has been and what events are still holding you back what has happened that really is like whoa that really um made me who i am but you know what don't if you can now take that and say okay these events happen and it made me who i am well if you think about it it got you to where you are right now if you're really thinking about turning your life around wow so that got you to here we can't just constantly put ourselves down for oh i shouldn't have done that regret 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 it got you to where you are now and so if you're at a point where you want to turn your life around or you need to turn your life around, I think all of us could turn our lives around. I don't care how blissful your life seems right now. There are new challenges that need to happen with you and we need to move forward. Here's something that I hear in, and I just heard it even last night with somebody that, um, I, you know, I was mentioning sometimes I don't like to be outside a lot because, you know, it really can harm your skin. And even with some blocks, sometimes it just, you know, you get these brown spots and you just constantly, you're breathing in. Well, even around the campfire, you're breathing in the campfire. I pers personally don't, I love a good campfire, but you're breathing in. Yeah. 
isn't it funny how when you sit there and, and you move and, and the wind blows right at you and, and then you have to move again. Everybody went through that last night. So, yeah, we were breathing in um, campfire. Well, uh, you know, I hear people say, oh, who cares? I'm older. I don't really care what I look like or I don't care. Like, I, I don't really like that attitude. I think we all should care. I really do. I mean, what kind of, what we just think we're so old and a lot of us aren't even that old. I, even at 70, that's not that old. I can see maybe 90, 91, 95. Yeah, but no, um, no, when you're 60, 70, um, even towards 80, no, you need to still pay attention and take care. Um, you want to feel good, you know, pay attention to what's going on in your body and around you and what you're thinking. Yeah. Keep learning new things. Keep, these are things that are going to change your life around. Okay. So one more sip of coffee here and then we'll part ways. Okay. This is old coffee and I'm not going to make a new one. I didn't offer it to you because I've already had so much of it. I'm not going to drink any more coffee. What I want to do is actually take a sip of water. Drink your water. Oh, yeah. So drink water. Lots of water. Okay, you guys, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And please go to minivanlee.com. I've got the neck gaiters and a lot of you have... Um, got a whole bunch of new orders uh so i st i'm gonna get those together i promise i'm gonna take a nap and then get up and get going and get them mailed out and there's still more um i've got some really cool colors so go to minivanlee.com for looking at the neck gators. it's everybody says it i don't care they they buy it and then they tell me um it's the best it's the most so comfortable and soft and it stretches out it looks good so yeah minivanlee.com for what I have left. Exercise tapes. Sorry, I burped. <laughs> Whoops. I know you heard it. And, um, yeah. And then the book, How to Live in a Minivan, the Minivan Lee Way. It's on Amazon. It's not expensive. Um, the price did go just up a little bit, but not that bad because um, we all got um, a notice from Amazon that if it's a printed book, not the ebook, that's the same, but if it's a printed soft cover book, um, they're, sh they're um, manufacturing and shipping and everything is has gone up. So um, they had to up the price. So oops. <laughs> and um, but it's not that expensive, I promise. And it's the best darn nomad book, van dwelling book ever ever <laughs> it's the best it's the best on the market so uh let's see what else well i think that's it just a big kiss and a hug big hug group hug group hug <laughs> i love you guys so much okay till tomorrow i'm gonna go take a nap get my pillows down i'm not gonna pull my bed out but i am gonna pull one of my blankets out my nice sherpa cover up put on a movie maybe put on some asmr and just fall asleep. Mm, I love you guys. Bye.